Okay, welcome to the reset. Um, the reason I want to do this call is because I think there is just tremendous value in pausing. If we just keep going, we just keep waking up and doing the day and then wake up the next day and do the day again. It's really easy to just keep repeating the same days over and over and over again and never changing anything. So I think there's tremendous value in pausing, looking back at what we've been doing and deciding if we want to keep repeating those things or even just like little shifts that, you know, they talk about like if a plane is like flying this direction and it changes its course like a tiny, tiny bit, it'll end up in like San Francisco instead of New York. It's like the, the shifts that you want to make in your life, there's probably just little tiny shifts that need to be made. So we're going to start with some journaling, I have a few questions. Um, and then we will get into a visualization and then we'll just open it up. I'll turn off the recording and we'll just open it up to any coaching that anybody needs. Okay. Um, any questions before we get started? Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to start with looking back over October. And we really, really want to start with what went well. So the first question is just that. What went well in October? There's a good chance that when you try to answer that question, your brain is going to try to tell you all the things that didn't go well. I just did this with my daughter. She's like, well, I can tell you everything that went wrong. <laughs> I'm like, I know you can. <laughs> Let's start with what went well. So take a couple of minutes. I'm going to put the questions actually in the chat so that when you're done with that, you can just move on to the next one. But the first part is looking back. So think about like what went well, what do you want to celebrate? What are you proud of? Right. And, and it doesn't have to be strictly October, but just kind of like the recent past. So I'm just going to put these in the chat and just go ahead and um, journal about them. Yeah, I was going to mention this too. Like I have kind of a vision for this call. I have questions, but if there's like, if your brain takes you somewhere else, don't feel like you need to answer any or all of these questions. Just like I said, it's, we just want to pause and check in and maybe your journaling and your questions, your brain will take you somewhere else. And that's a perfectly great place to go. So take just like two or three more minutes with those questions. Really kind of push yourself to think of what's going well. You can consider business, finances, career, family, personal, personal development, health. There's a lot of opportunities for things to go well. Okay, stay there if you need to, but I'm going to move on to the next the next kind of section of like looking back is what didn't go well. I want to say what didn't go so well. So this is things like, um, where did I not show up the way I wanted to, like not being the person I wanted to be. Maybe like, where was I out of alignment? 
um, what things just like kind of plain sucked. Ask yourself some questions like that. What didn't go so well this month? And maybe if you want to just put like a thumbs up in the chat when you're done. So we, I have a sense when people are ready to move on. Okay, the next question I want you to consider is what, so, so so we looked at what went well, what didn't go so well. We wanna look at how we wanna proceed moving forward. So the first, the first question I like to consider is like, what do I wanna do the same? Or like, what do I wanna keep doing? I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll be like, oh, this is going so well. Like it's working to wake up and do these three things in the morning and I'm like, okay, that worked. And now I'm just gonna totally stop doing it, right? It's like, what's working that I want to keep going with? Or sometimes it's even like, we don't notice that this thing is making a difference until you stop doing it. So if we can avoid that situation, just kind of consider what's working or like, what do I want to keep doing the same? And then on the flip side, what do I want to do differently? And I think you can consider big things and small things here, right? Like maybe there's a big thing you want to do. Maybe you want to hire a coach, book a vacation, stop smoking. I don't know, like whatever it is. Maybe there's something big you want to do. But also like maybe you want to wake up five minutes earlier. Maybe you want to add in morning pages, right? Like just big and small. What do we want to change for November?
Okay, then two more, well, we have two more questions for now. We'll see, I keep thinking of more. Um, so this piece is, I think, really important. Like my hope is that you leave this call and you do something differently. You do something differently today. You do something differently next month. Right, like we said, we don't just keep repeating. So I think it's important to pause and consider if there's any obstacles that we anticipate. Um, Cause it's one thing to sit here on a call and be like, I'm gonna do all these things differently in November and then get off the call and go do the exact same thing again, right? So if these are changes you've tried to make in the past, like where did I get stuck before? Like, why haven't I already made this change? Um, so okay, I'm just gonna type these out. What obstacles, if any, do I anticipate? Anticipate. <laughs> um, where have I gotten stuck in the past? And um, what support would I like? I said two questions, but that's already three. So there's probably gonna be more.
Okay, so we came to this call because we've decided that October is going to be different in some way. Nope, November is going to be different in some way than October was. Um, we are going to be different. Things are going to be different. We're going to move forward differently. So the question, the next question I want you to think about is just, what do you want to leave in October? So I'm going to give you a few ideas just to kind of get the ball rolling, but maybe there's habits, um, like personality traits. Maybe there's grudges or judgments or worries or something. Like if you could just like cut it out or burn it or rip it up, like what would you like to just leave in October and not have it be part of your life ever again? Okay, so we started this call with celebrating what went well. And then we gave our brain a chance to air all the things that didn't go well. I'd like to go back again. What do you want to celebrate about October? And put something in the chat, if you will, so we can all celebrate you. Um, I think this is so important. I've, I've heard these calls, like this concept called like an evaluation, right? That's basically what we've done. We've evaluated October. 
Um, but I never wanted to do these when I was calling them evaluations. I would put it on my calendar every week, every month to do an evaluation, never wanted to do it. I started calling them celebrations. And then I was like, yeah, let's go celebrate me, right? So I think it's important to let yourself see all the good things that are happening. Nice. I had a coaching call that helped me shift my thinking around my work team. I love it when the thing we're celebrating is coaching. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. And then just one more question. Um, is there anything else that's coming up? Right. I'm not in your brain, so I don't know. But is there something else that is just on your mind that you want to get out? Or like hopes, dreams, goals, you know, just Whatever your brain is like spitting up right now, let's put it on paper. Clean my room, clean my desk, spent the whole weekend making art. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. It's funny how those things kind of go together sometimes, right? It's like you clean up, you make space, and then it's like, oh, all this creativity that wanted to come out. It just didn't have anywhere to go. Very cool. Okay, so I'd like to take you through a visualization, but before I do, I want to just give this caveat that I saw this thing the other day that was like how people visualize things. So some people, it, it was like a picture, I shouldn't find it and post it here, but some people see nothing, right? Like they, the, the picture was of an apple, I think. And it's like, if you're trying to visualize an apple, some people see just blank, nothing. Some people see an apple that's in color. They actually close their eyes and see it in their mind. And then there's like, three or four, five stages in between. I'm very much in the middle. I do not actually see something, but it's like, I know there's an apple there. And I still find visualization like tremendously useful. So if you're somebody who's like, I, I can't do it. It doesn't work for me. I don't see anything when I close my eyes. That's okay. It can still work. Okay. So go ahead and get comfortable. If you, um, if you want to lay down, you can, if you want to turn off cameras, like whatever makes you feel most comfortable and then take a couple breaths. I like to say, I don't remember where I heard this, but like feather your nest, just kind of like settle in. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes close. If it's uncomfortable to close them, just kind of find something to look at. So your mind's not darting all over. And then take an exhale and just kind of like, blah, let it go. Take a couple more if that felt good. It feels like there's a little more. And let those exhales just kind of make space. And now imagine that there is a box in the corner of the room that you're sitting in. And imagine that all of the things that you don't want to carry anymore, leave your body, leave your mind, leave your soul and go into that box. So picture them coming out, however you picture them, maybe they're words, maybe they're colors, maybe they're tar combination of things, all that stuff that's just, you're carrying it like whoosh into that box. And you can kind of Marie Kondo it if you want to and thank it for its service. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for trying to help. 
and no thank you. We can move along into the box. Take another couple breaths here and just encourage anything else that's lingering, anything that you're like, I'd like to send it the box, but I don't know if I'm ready. Give it a breath, give it some love and see if maybe, just maybe it wants to go in the box too. And then if you'd like to, you can imagine sending the box to me. We can do it through the internet, put it in the mail. However you want to get it to me, maybe you can come to my house. I'll pour you a cup of tea and you can hand me the box. And I will alchemize it into something beautiful. And then take a breath or two. Congratulate yourself on letting that go. Notice how much lighter you feel, how much space you've created. And now things start to get a little weird. Imagine that over your head, you hear a spaceship. And it drops a beam of light down through the ceiling, down into wherever you are. And this beam of light pulls you up into the spaceship. And you meet the aliens. They're very friendly and very nice. Nothing to be scared of. And they take you way up above your city, above your town, past the clouds, into outer space. And they give you a snack. And then they bring you back down, but they bring you back to November 30th. So now there's two of you. And first you just watch November 30th version of you and you just see what they're doing. You notice how they're being. Notice what it's like to be around them. Like how are the people around them interacting with them? Notice what, what you, what you, future you is doing. Kind of follow them throughout their day. Notice what they're not doing. And then if you'd like to, you can approach them. Let them know that you're from the past. and tell them something's changed, something's different. And ask them how that happened. How did we change? How did we become the person we are today? And then just talk to them about anything you want to say. You can tell them your fears. You can tell them your hopes. They've already been through it, so they know how to help.
And then before you leave, they give you a gift. And you open it up and find something that will help you in the next month. They know exactly what you need to get from here to there. And they put it in this box. And if there's anything else you want to tell them or they want to tell you, And then when you're ready, give them a hug or a high five or a fist bump. And the aliens will drop that beam of light back down through the ceiling, through the wall. They'll scoop you back up into that warm light, take you up into their spaceship. They ask you how it went. They'll give you another snack. Take you clear up through the clouds into outer space, spin you back around and bring you back down to October 30th. And the aliens give you a high five. They tell you good job, nice work. And then they're out of here. Take your time coming back. You can wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes back open. And grab your, your journal or your paper, whatever you're writing on, and just write down any observations that you had. Make note of whatever gifts were given to you, um, what advice, whatever future you had to say to you. Or anything that you noticed, maybe it's not what they said, but just what you saw or felt.
Okay, well, thanks for being here so much. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> um, I hope, I genuinely hope that something shifted for you in this call. I hope that you feel differently. I hope that something is different in November for you. And that if you just keep doing this process, step by step by step by step by step, you get closer and closer to uh, just that life that you've always dreamed of. And let me know if there's any questions or if there's anything I can help with. I'm going to stop the recording now and we can just coach on anything anybody needs help with. If I can remember how to stop the recording.